Hey guys, thank you for watching. I'm Gabrielle Saran. Today let's go over the chest expansion and the tricep press and then we'll do a little combination of both of them into a nice fun flow. So I'm here with one blue spring, that's one medium spring. The box is on the long way. We'll start with this version on the box. It's just slightly more easy, less of a challenge for balance and then we will progress on. So sit on the box, not too close to the edge. Grab onto the short straps. Okay. Arms by your sides and then just in front of those hips. Before we even move, let's start with a nice strong base. We're sitting right on the peaks of the sit bones. We're drawing that navel up for pelvic floor and navel in for transverse abdominis, that deepest abdominal layer. Keep that nice and strong. Now two things to think about to start. Think about pulling the front of the shoulders apart. So we're widening the collarbones. And then think of reaching your fingertips to the floor. We're gonna inhale, prepare. Exhale, push back. Hold. Inhale, bring the arms slowly with control back just in front of the hips. Exhale, push back, hold. Grow tall. And bring the arms slightly back in front of the hips. Keep going, you guys. Think of a really heavy stack of books on your head that you're reaching up to the ceiling. So we're actively stretching the spine. And then think of scraping your fingernails on the floor as you push back. Keep growing tall. Keep drawing that navel in. Keep widening the collarbones. So, more cues. As you push back, squeeze your shoulder blades together and down, but part your triceps away from one another. So it's kind of an oppositional cue here, but it helps to kind of keep the width and the length throughout the body and bring to the front. So we really don't want to go too fast or else this will happen where the rope slack and we're not really working for that, uh, for that in that way. So really, really nice and slow and controlled. If you want it a little harder, start at your hips. Widen your collarbones, push back, hold, and then bring the arms just to the side of the hips again. And push back, hold, grow tall, and to the side of the hips. If you wanna include some breath to this, let's inhale, prepare. Exhale, push back, hold. Hold, don't inhale, rotate your, uh, look towards the left. Look back center, look to the right. Look back center, inhale, arms forwards. One more time like this, exhale, push back. Look to the right, center, left, center, inhale, arms forwards. Let's do the opposite breath. Let's inhale, push back and hold the breath, inhale. Look to the left, center, right, center, exhale, arms forwards. One more, inhale, push back, hold. Right, center, left, center, exhale, arms forwards. So in uh, Pilates exercises, if you play around with the breath, the inhale one way, exhale the other, and then flip it, you're, you get different sensations throughout that exercise, different things, um, so experiment with that. Um, alrighty, so staying here, let's do just, it's like a mini tricep press. So knees can open out a little bit wider to the sides, we're gonna do a slight forward hinge. Uh, so from those hips, slight forward hinge here with a flat back. Elbows up slightly, shoulder blades pulling together and down. Make sure you're not sticking those ribs out, okay? Keep the spine neutral. Draw those abs up and in. We're gonna reach those arms back and bend. Here my palms are facing back and are facing up towards the ceiling as I reach out. Keep widening those collarbones, keep pulling your breastbone through, really controlling the way out and in. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. So that's our little mini tricep press. Mini but effective, I felt that. So let's get rid of the box and continue on. Let's progress on. Step on off, box goes away. And we'll come up onto our knees on the carriage. So now we're adding a bit more of a challenge um, element, a balance element to this to challenge it up. Grab your straps. Careful with the balance, all right? Go slow. Grab your short straps. 
knees here against the shoulder blocks, or you can walk them back and hook your toes right on the edge. I'm gonna stay right here. Okay, let's start simple again. Arms slightly in front of the hips. Push those kneecaps down. Pull your tail down towards the floor. Draw the belly up and in. Widen your collarbones. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. Push back slowly, hold. Keep reaching your fingertips down as you grow tall, stretching the back of the neck. Slowly bring the arms back to the front. And again, push back, hold. And bring the arms back to the front. Let's start arms by your hips and press back from there. Exhale, push back. And inhale to the front. And press back. And arms just by the side of the hips. Two more. And last one. Good, now let's go into our tricep reaches. So we're gonna pull the hips back. I call this the Z shape. Hinge forwards with the flat back. So it's like you wanna sit down on your heels, but not quite, right? We're keeping those hips lifted. The back stays nice and flat. Pull your elbows by your sides. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. Lengthen the back of your neck. Draw those abs in. Keep pulling that breastbone through. This is gonna be the most important part in this move. Just go ahead and slowly reach your arms back. Palms are facing in here for this version. And bend your elbows back in. Exhale, press back. Reach those knuckles away from the crown of the head, the crown of the head away from the knuckles. And bend your elbows back in. Three more. And bend. And to reach, open those collarbones. Last one. Bend and straighten those knees, straighten the legs. Let's add the two for our flow here. It's really fun. Okay, starting with the arms long in front of those hips. Draw those abs up and in, shoulders pull back. And um, let's actually just to, for the wrists, let's grab on, let's choke up on the ropes. Grab onto those knots or, knots or on top of those rings if you have some D-rings in your straps. So let's start here. Drawing those abs up and in. We're gonna push back at the same time, go into your Z shape. So hinge forwards, hips pull back. And then squeeze your glutes, come back up. We're gonna do that a few more times before we add on. Push back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, hinge forwards, hips pull back. Reach your knuckles away from the crown of the head. The crown of the head away from the knuckles. Squeeze the glutes to come back up. Adding on, let's press back and hold. Navel draws in deep. Bend the elbows once, then extend the arms back, pause, reach back, slowly come back up, arms forwards. That's it, and again, push back, hinge forwards. Pull the breastbone through, don't round the upper back, bend the elbows, press back out, and come back up. One more time here, you guys, press back, hinge, bend the elbows, scoop those abs, push back, Pull that breastbone forwards and come all the way back up. Let's do it again. Push back, hinge, reach, bend the elbows, reach it back and squeeze the glutes to come back up. Good work, you guys. So this is actually one of my favorite flows and the chest expansion and tricep press in general are my favorites because it really helps to open up through the chest, strengthen back of the arms, the back, work that posture, work that length, and it just really feels good at the beginning of the day to wake up at the end of the day to kind of shake all the cobwebs out from sitting down a lot. Um, anyways, thank you for watching this balanced body video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.